<laughs> Welcome to another segment of Roofing It Right with Dave and Wally. I'm Wally. I'm Dave. Uh, right now we're going to talk about uh, base attachment. Base attachment on or missing our base attachment. Missing or that lack thereof. Yeah, lack thereof missing base attachment, which can cause problems with wind what? uplift. Wind uplift, flashing's coming loose. You right, know, we could go on and on with it. Yes, we could. Base attachment. Our specification on mechanically attached systems is 12 inches on center. So standard for standard uh, plates and fasteners that you would use in in your seam. 12 inches on center or minimum four. So. So if I had a plate and screw in here, obviously I'm gonna have about two or three or eight bar plate in here. I'm probably not gonna have enough room to weld if I, if I had a plate and screw in here, correct? Oh, absolutely. So odds are, I am not feeling any base attachment no. in this. No, because look, look where your weld is. Right. Welds yeah, back to here. An inch, inch and a half weld. Yeah. If we if, if we welded that, we'd see evidence of the robot or the hand welder actually going over top of that. Plate exactly. It would be like we're rolling a tire down a, a flight of stairs because you would you have weld here till it hit the plate, roll across the plate, drop down and weld again. Good analogy, Alex. Like and that. you can't, you probably have voids right there, yeah. right where your plate is. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. No. Uh, so what would the fix to be to correct the situation? Well, the fix would be if I were to, to fix it, I would put my plates out here so that I could strip it in, use a robot, or at least not run afoul of these these seams. Right. Get it out, get it get it away, get it get it stable, and, and get it done right. So again, it's more wasted time, money, labor, Absolutely. material. Yep. Now I got to come back. Now I got to clean. I have to drop my screws and plates, screw them in. I got to clean it. I got to come back and strip it in. I got to weld it, so on and so forth. Right. And so, use cut edge seal on the edges. Let me ask you. Let's say if I'm doing a fully geared system, do I need that? Absolutely. The reason you want fa uh, base attachment on a, a fully adhered system is Spry tells you you need a creep stop within 12 inches of a penetration. So if the sheet billows and comes loose, it will stop at that mechanical attachment and won't go off the building. So it doesn't matter what type of system for GF specification you're doing, mechanically attached, fully adhered, rhino bond doesn't matter we have to have base and any penetration right and if you're doing ballast it'd be six inches on center everywhere 